So yeah, yesterday um, we worked our butts off at the farm. Um, yeah, I'm attached to something. Oh, there we go. Uh, worked our butts off at the farm, uh, trying to pick up a lot of trash. Unfortunately, when you buy a, a, a large tract of land, particularly in the south, um, that's been farmed for years, uh, you know, 50 years ago, you just picked one spot and started dumping stuff there. And we have two or three spots on the property where stuff's just been dumped. So <clears throat> uh, Hugh and I filled up five trash bags yesterday and uh, there were there was one area where we said, you know what, we're actually hiring somebody to come in and take off uh, a huge, like it's got a lot of big stuff in it, old cabinets and lawn tractor. Um, and then we have another area where the stuff is so old, it's like a lot of old jars and rusted cans and pieces of metal and pieces of bicycles, you name it. Um, and I sort of took off the top layer and then we just said, you know what, we're bringing in truckloads of dirt and we're going to cover this up because um, it's dangerous with everything exposed and uh, it's not an area where we're going to walk a lot, but I still, I, it's coming along our driveway on the way in and I don't like it. So, so yeah, lots of work to do, but we were also traipsing through the woods a lot yesterday and we also went to a part of the property across the stream where there was really tall grass and that's where the ticks like to hide out. We actually have never found a tick on our dogs or us walking the fields of the property uh, because it's cut short, but um, woods and high grass, you're just asking, asking, asking to get uh, tick problems and so Gwen's dogs were out running through the farm yesterday. They were the dirtiest, messiest. Oh my gosh, they were oh, oh so dirty. Um, so I don't know if she had put anything on her dogs before she took them out, but we didn't spray ourselves. I didn't really think about it because we haven't found any ticks out there, and I should have thought about it because we were doing something different yesterday. We also planted thirty-two arborvitae trees yesterday. Um, so it was a busy day, and we uh, Brandon seeded all the pastures with pasture grass. So I don't know how many hundreds of pounds of seed it was, but it was a large pallet full. And then in a couple of weeks, we'll fertilize. So uh, yeah, country living and country farm work, which uh, maybe it'll help me get back in shape because I'm really out of shape. Um, but in the middle of the night, I kept thinking I felt something crawling, and. Finally, I said, uh, the heck with this, and I got up and turned the light on and went, oh, there's a tick crawling. Um, so, got rid of him. Uh, but then, of course, the rest of the night, you're like, was that another one? Was that another one? Was that another one? Um, so, from now on, when I know that we're going to be traipsing through the woods in the tall grass, I will take some precautions. And frankly, what we use on ourselves and on our pets are essential oil sprays. And they're very good at repelling. Um... I need to do a tick check on the dogs. Gabby was sleeping next to me, and I thought, oh boy, did I give the dog ticks? <laughs> we usually think it's the other way around. The dogs bring them to us. I'm pretty sure I brought it to the dog. Um, so, But I love using the essential oil sprays for a couple of reasons, and we were sitting out on our back deck at the house the other night, and we stayed out. It was, the, it was uh, Sunday, Saturday, Saturday. It was just really nice out. And so we stayed out there a little later than usual, and we stayed out long enough for the mosquitoes to start coming out. And I started seeing mosquitoes landing on the dogs. Hugh's ankles were getting eaten up. And I said, well, silly ass, we don't even have any essential oil spray here for us to use. I think it's all in the motorhome, but I'm going to the office today, and I'm going to grab a bottle for us so that we can use it to repel mosquitoes and gnats as well as the fleas and ticks. I'm not really that worried about fleas. Um, not a fan of ticks, not a fan. So I don't use chemicals in our dogs. I strongly recommend that you don't use any chemicals on yours. I was reading um, something on Facebook this morning where somebody's dog has had a huge behavior change and she's using oral flea meds. And those are neurotoxins. Not only can they cause seizures, 
um, and neurologic problems, but they can cause behavior changes. They can cause vomiting, diarrhea, skin breakouts, uh, all kinds of side effects from all the drugs. So really a huge fan of the essential oil sprays. The one that we have on our site right now is the Kin and Kind Flea and Tick Spray. They changed their formulation. It's now a lemongrass formulation. I think some people didn't like the smell before. The lemongrass is, um, uh, a very nice smell. So I don't hesitate to use that on myself and my family members and our dogs. So, um, it is that time of year where the ticks are going to be much more active. We see it, the, uh, they're out 12 months out of the year, but we will see a lot more activity in the spring when we're changing from the cold to the warm. And then in the fall when we're changing from the warm to the cold. So in New Jersey, it was usually about this time, March, April, and then again, uh, November-ish, uh, that we see a lot more increased activity with the ticks. So that's when you want to be a, a little bit more vigilant and maybe apply things or stay out of that, that tall grass or the underbrush because that's where they hang out. So uh, if your pets live, if you live in a neighborhood where you have a mown lawn that is manicured and kept short and your uh, shrubs are well maintained and you don't have a lot of tall grass and underbrush, you're not going to have big flea and tick problems because that's not where they like to hang out. Uh, they like to hang out in the shaded, wooded, um, dense areas. So avoid those and you'll have a lot less trouble especially certain times of the year. So um, that's my advice for the day. Okay, I have got to get going. This week we are working on our uh, homemade food video course. So lots of work to do. <sighs> and I had done a bunch of work on Saturday. My computer ate it because I didn't hit save. It ate a lot of stuff. All my tabs I had open for my Cushing's book. Meh. I don't know that we have foxtail down here. That's a West Coast thing for sure. Tall grass is a magnet, yeah. I'm just terrible. Your husband mows your fenced four acres of land that makes a huge difference. Yeah, it will. It really will. Yeah, a body in motion stays in motion. Eat real food and move. Well, we eat real food, and yesterday we moved a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Remember, you can purchase all of Dr. All right. products at Everybody have a wonderful day. Now it's time to sit back.